be taking a look at three really cool Shred Legato licks. All three licks will start the same, but end drastically different, showing you how you can begin a lick a certain way, but always change it up as you go on and create endless possible licks around that. <laughs> Now let me show you all three variations. The first variation will look like this. The second variation will look like this. And finally the third version will look like this. Let's go over the first part of each of these licks because they all begin the same. The part they all share sounds like this. So for today's lesson, we're gonna be in A minor. Um, some of them are very strictly A minor and then some throw in some blues notes. The last one will throw some chromatics and Dorian in there. So it's a little bit, but it's all still hovering around the A minor scale and a, the key of A minor. And I'm in standard tuning for today's lesson, so keep that in mind when we're going over the notes here. So we're starting in what I would consider position five of the pentatonic zone, and we're going like this. So we're going, we're throwing a flat five there, but we're going 15, and then hammer 16, 17. Go to the high E, and we're going 15, 17, 20, and then pull off back down. And then do an extra hammer on on 17 back to 15. Hammer on pull off there. So we got. Then we're gonna do. We're gonna do this little uh, back and forth between the B string 17 and then the uh, 15 of the high E. Now that 17th fret of the B string is gonna start this little triplet legato pattern that looks like this. So that's 17, 16, hammer back onto 17, pull off 16, pull off 15, hammer on 16, pull off 15. Do that back and forth, but on the G and B string this time. And then pull off 16, pull off 14. So that second little part there is this. Now in lick one, we're gonna slide back our first finger to the 12th fret. Hammer on back to 14th fret. Go to the B string and then do a quick hammer on on the 12th and 13th fret. If you would like to support me and this channel, go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Over there, you'll find tons of great guitar lessons, all with tab, covering scales, licks, techniques, and much more. You also get early access to videos, and you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get back to the video. the 14th fret G string. Do a little back and forth on the D string and G string here. That's gonna be 14 on the D, G string 12, back to 14 on the D string. And then we're gonna go. So that's just 14, 13, 12, slide back to 10. So that, that little final part there would look like this. This is how part one is going to end. So lick number one all together will look like this. Awesome, so now let's move on to the second way of playing this lick. Like I said, it's gonna start off the exact same. From the 14th fret of the G string, we're gonna slide up 
to the 17th fret. Then we're gonna hammer on 19. Then we're gonna go B string and play. That's 17, 18, 20. Then we'll go to the high E and play 17, 19, 20. Pull back off, all the way down. Hammer back on the middle finger. 19th fret, pull off again, and then that little back and forth. So that's on the B string 20 to 17 of the high E. And then do a whole step bend there at the end. Like if we just isolate the different endings, we have part one's ending looks like this. And then lick number two ends like this. So those are cool licks right there in and of itself. We combine them with the beginning part. And we get this long, awesome shred legato run. All right, now, the final lick, this one is the most technical. It, it covers the most real estate on the fretboard and it just sounds awesome and it's fun to play. So that's gonna sound like this. So like I said, it starts off the same. So 14th fret with our first finger on the G strings where we're ending off. Slide back to 12, hammer back on the 14. Then 13, 15 on the B. And then the high E, we're gonna go 12, and then chromatically walk up 12, 13, 14, 15, back down. Slide back to 10. Do a quick hammer on pull off on 11, back to 10. Do a little back and forth on the B string, 13 to the 10 of the high E. Back to the 13 of the B. So far, part three looks like this. All right, from the B string 13th fret, we're gonna do this pattern that we did earlier. That little thing we're doing down here. So that's 13, 12, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10. Then a back and forth on the G and B string going 12, 10 of the B, back to 12 on the G. That's gonna start another, the same pattern again, but on the G string. And that is 12, 11, To end the lick off, we go, which is instead of doing the typical shape of doing this, we're gonna go. That's D string 12, 9 of the G, and then D string 10th fret. So part three looks like this. Let's run through all three of those real quick. So the first one would look like this. Part two will look like this. And then finally part three will look like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Gatto is one of my favorite techniques and I think it's one of the most important when it comes to advancing your guitar technical ability because if you can have a very confident left hand that knows all the scale shapes, it can control different fingerings and different patterns very well. 
it just makes guitar playing so much easier and so much more fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys back next time. Uh -huh.